Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT1000 Pro 2. The AT1000 Pro 2 is one of LDG's most feature-packed tuners. In part one of this video series, we looked at installation and basic operation of the AT1000 Pro 2. In part two, we'll go over some of the more advanced operations. As you recall from part one, Fully automatic tuning on the AT1000 Pro 2 is very simple. Just transmit, and it tunes. There are times, however, when you may not want this behavior. To switch to semi-automatic mode, press the function button, and then C down. The LEDs will flash in the outer corners of the display to indicate semi-automatic mode. Press function and C down repeatedly to toggle between fully automatic and semi-automatic modes. With the AT1000 Pro 2 in semi-automatic mode, tuning will not occur unless specifically requested. To force a full tuning cycle, first place your amplifier in bypass. Now, press and hold the tune button on the AT1000 Pro 2 for more than two and a half seconds while transmitting a carrier. Keep transmitting until the tuning cycle is complete. To request a tune from memory, press and hold the tune button for one second while transmitting a carrier. Keep transmitting until the tuning cycle completes. You can see that for a memory tune, recall from memory is almost instantaneous. Note that if you initiate a memory tune and no match is already found in memory, a full tuning cycle will begin and then be stored. When finished tuning, return your amplifier to active mode and then you may begin transmitting. Hello CQ CQ. Hello CQ CQ. To compare the performance of your antenna with and without the AT1000 Pro 2's match, press the tune button momentarily to enter bypass mode. Press tune momentarily again to return to active mode. You'll note that placing the tuner in bypass mode illuminates the bypass LED and places the AT1000 Pro 2 into semi-automatic tuning mode. Press function auto to return to fully automatic mode. In fully automatic mode, the AT1000 Pro 2 automatically begins tuning when the SWR exceeds a certain threshold. The threshold is user settable. To set that threshold, press function and then L down or threshold repeatedly until the desired threshold is shown. Here we show setting the threshold to 1.7 to 1. While transmitting, the upper bar graph display shows the RF forward power. By default, average power is displayed. QRL, is this frequency in use? On voice modes like single sideband, it may be more useful to display peak power. To toggle between average and peak, press function and then C up. The falling LED display indicates peak mode is selected. QRL? Is this frequency in use? Now when you transmit, a peak indicator shows the peak power. Press function and then C up again to return to average mode. Average mode is useful in modes like CW or digital. You can select two different scales for the RF wattmeter display. Press function and then L up to toggle the wattmeter scale. On the low power setting, it reads 0 to 100 watts, or on the high power setting, 0 to 1000 watts. Although the AT1000 Pro 2 tunes automatically, it may be desired to manually touch up the tuning. For this, press the C up and C down or L up and L down buttons to increase or decrease capacitance or inductance. Holding any of these buttons will cause the button to repeat quickly. Similarly, the AT1000 Pro 2 automatically chooses whether to match for high or low impedance antennas. To make this choice manually, press function and then antenna to toggle between high and low impedance settings. Remember to bypass your amplifier while making any of these manual adjustments. When you are satisfied with your manual settings, press function and then tune to store the settings in a memory associated with the current frequency. 
This concludes part two of the AT1000 Pro 2 video series.